Yeah, as you can imagine, the energy transition has been on ESG's agenda already for quite some time. And on this basis, the idea and the, the wish emerged to organize an event that would span across both divisions, the near surface geoscience divisions and the oil and gas division. And that would address all subsurface components that have a relevance to the energy transition and that require input from geoscientists and geoengineers. Yeah, so we have been seeing that the near surface community has been growing um, uh, and also that new topics come in uh, during the conferences. So there is a lot of discussion going on around this topic uh, and society is asking for new energy sources and the EHG is listening to it and so the community is working in this field. You have quite some common topics with the more classical and deeper subsurface themes, be it related to subsurface characterization, monitoring, data interpretation, data integration, data analytics. And so we hope that this gives a setting that will result in interaction between uh, participants um, attending mainly or coming with a background in one of the themes and that we will see some inspiration and cross fertilization arising from that the subsurface will play a role in the energy transition, a quite central role, be it for energy production, energy storage. We also need a lot of minerals uh, that come from the subsurface uh, for batteries, also in the context of nuclear power generation. So there is a lot. And when we use the subsurface, we will always need to use science and geoengineering engineering skills uh, to characterize the resource, but also to make sure that we use it in a um, in a safe and a sustainable way. The area around Strasbourg, Alsace, is somehow the cradle of the, um, of the French petroleum industry. It's where the first wireland log was, uh, was taken, was acquired nearly a hundred years ago. And now, one century later, today, Alsace, the region, and the counterpart in, in Germany, on the side of the Rhine, they are becoming at the center of the European drive to transition to geothermal energy. Uh, so the technologies that were used, the technologies and the skills that were used for uh, petroleum exploration in the last century are now applied uh, to a good extent of success to the development of geothermal energy. So the challenges are there, we can see it in the news, but so are the technologies and the skills and the opportunities, I would say. 